week, we are preparing to take action. So far, we have explored what hate speech is, how to analyze it and understand it. And we learned how complex hate speech is and that there is no one-fits-all responses to hate. There are indeed many different ways to counteract hate. The action depends on the instance of hate speech, our relation to that instance, what we want to achieve with our intervention, and what tools we have. In these videos, let's explore a few ideas. Each of these suggestions for actions may be used alone or in combination. To begin with, you should define the situation. Firstly, the initial step to design an action is to analyze the hate occurrence. Look at the tone, intention, target, context and impact of the hate occurrence. This will help you to identify the nature and possible impact of the case and think of the appropriate intervention. For example, if hate speech is explicit, the intervention might be to contact the perpetrator, protect and support the target, or report it to authorities directly. If hate speech is implicit, the intervention might demand to create a deeper awareness of the underlying message and to highlight the bias and prejudice. Secondly, when there is hate, we recognize three positions. The perpetrator, that is to say the initiator of the hate speech, the target, that is to say the target of hate is either directly named or they belong to the group targeted, and the witness. An intervention can be designed for one, two, or for all the three positions involved in a situation of hate speech, depending on the situation and the means you have. Thirdly, how fast your intervention should be depends on how imminent the danger for the person or the group is. For example, in case of a direct insult or attack, imminent responses are needed. In other cases, interventions might require long-term solution and careful planning. Once you have identified which situation the target is faced with, you can act in different ways. Explain to the perpetrator why this is hate speech and how it affects others or you. Ask them to retract and apologize to the target or to remove a comment. This is often forgotten, but one cause of hate speech is also the ignorance of people about the impact of their words. The tone and the context can of course vary, and it is important to know who you are talking to. Speaking to the initiator might be easier if you know the person well, or if the tone is mild and not aggressive, but it might be counterproductive in other situations. If you are a witness of an attack or imminent danger of an attack to a person and you do not know the appropriate response in the moment, stand by and speak to the target and ensure they are not alone. Even when the attack is over, you might want to stick around and assist the target in calling a friend, waiting for assistance or simply getting some water. In any case, be careful not to reproduce the hate towards the perpetrator, as it might escalate in physical violence. Sometimes, people that have been systematically the target of hate speech perceive the situation as if no change is possible. Hate speech then becomes normalized. To support the target, especially when people have been singled out or used as an example for an entire group, check with them if and how they would like to take an action and what it implies to them. They may want assistance, take direct action through a campaign, or get themselves the skills to change the situation, to one of equality. These measures can include training, education, awareness raising, but also counseling, anything that can support the target group to claim their power and act upon it as equal members of the society. In many cases, especially in the online space, a discussion where hate speech is happening can publicly take place, that is, in the common thread. In this case, Presenting a different perspective to the audience can be very important. This can be done through providing factual information or asking questions. For example, on Facebook, your audience can be your friends or those who have befriended you and the perpetrator of your speech. So your intervention matters. Report the hate to the relevant authorities to take measures on it. This can include reporting it to the private entity managing the online space, for example, Facebook, Twitter, or other social network websites. Or report it to state authorities or to associations in support of the targets. 
you will have to analyze the case and decide what is the best from your understanding. Awareness about hate speech might be limited in your community and education is required for people to understand it. Education can mean classes, informal education, but it can also mean peer-to-peer -peer informal education. It can focus on understanding hate speech, but it can also focus on human rights or taking action or explaining legal remedies. Education about hate speech can target anyone involved, from the general public to judges and offenders, from children to adults. However, sometimes it is possible to ignore hate speech. We come across a lot of hate statements with different degrees of harm and a variety of causes. Sometimes we might decide that we ignore it and for good reasons, but in that case, it is important to remember that ignorance is also an action with consequences. Legal actions are also one instrument to contract hate speech. Any legal remedy will start by reporting the case and will evolve depending on the legal specific procedures applying to that case. First, assuming there is an existing legislation that provides legal instruments to tackle hate, you can determine if there is already an history of similar cases. The case might indeed be rather typical and the legal system functional. In that case, a legal route may be already existing and you should explore it. Secondly, if the current legislation could lead to a better application of human rights through a court decision, or if the legislation is new and there is no experience to decide on the case, then one of the strategies to push for bringing social, legal and political change is called strategic litigation. Strategic litigation is a practice of taking carefully selected individual cases of hate speech to court, but with the aim to obtain justice for a whole group that might be affected or that is in a similar situation. Third, there might also be no or incomplete legislation to counter hate speech. You can then use a case of hate speech and take steps for the establishment of a new legislation through campaigning, lobbying, strategic litigation and citizens' initiatives for new laws. Any legal action can be a long process and choosing that path needs careful resourcing and patience. However, the impact can be wide and long-lasting. In the next video, we will explore how to ensure your action is based on a human rights approach.